in the 21st century, we can go to Mars, but we really haven't finished exploring planet Earth. Here off North America's western shores, we have an area that for part of the year, we've got white sharks, elephant seals, sea lions, blue whales, tunas. I think this is one of the wildest places we have left in the sea. This region is actually worthy of protection at the level of a World Heritage Site. But how do we protect the open spaces of the ocean? By using electronic tags, we're able to go beneath the waves into this mysterious ocean and follow where animals go. We're putting out new types of devices, a buoy that can listen for animals when they come by, and a wave glider, an automated device that's actually going to listen for animals as it cruises the coast of North America. The animal will carry the tag for up to a year and a half. When the animal swims right by a buoy or our glider, they send a ping, an acoustic ping, that gives us the species and the individual. And once the glider and the buoy retrieve that signal, it goes straight up to satellite, down to our mobile phones, and we've built this really cool app that allows us to transmit this information to the public. The SharpNet app was developed with an eye towards getting people to make a direct personal connection with the sharks that we're studying. So for example, here at this buoy, we saw a shark called 2-7. The user can go in and take a look at that particular shark in the gallery. That personal connection is just as accessible to someone in China as they are to people living here on the west coast of the United States. It's just as immediate. What we have to do is think of these ecosystems as natural places, as rich as the plains of Africa, so that our children and our children's children have the opportunity to see these great predators before it's too late.